What's up, guys? Shu here once again. Back for the attack, as as it were. Uh, you guys see my other two videos that I just uh, did, and so uh, the hits just keep on coming. Now this last one I got here. This is a big boy. This is a very big boy, <clears throat> and uh, you know. That's not gonna get all up, but yeah, I don't think if I if I show his address. This is from my best friend, man. This is from my best friend, and you know, you guys know him. This is Matt Sly Cord, Big Big Daddy Sly, and uh, you know, I've been doing videos since the first of the year, and I, you know, we've been talking about doing videos together for a long time, and you know, hopefully, I won't have to go two parts here, Matt. Um, normally, we don't send boxes to each other. Um, because we see each other, you know what I mean? He, he lives seven hours from me. He's up in the panhandle where I used to stay. And, uh, you know, we hunted every four times a week together for, uh, a, you know, damn near two years. <clears throat> so, uh, anyway, come on, cooperate with me. Um, him and I usually just put boxes aside for each other and then, uh, you know, and then we just trade them with each other when we see each other, but... Um, now that we're doing videos, and I conned him into, you know, I guess I didn't con him into making videos, but, I, you know, I was like, you know, you got to get on here. All these guys are super awesome, and, uh, you know, they're great traders, and they're awesome uh, um, extended family. You know what I mean? You guys are all my family, for sure. If I've traded with you, you know, like, even if I haven't traded with you, you know what I mean? Um, if you've sat through my bazillion 14-minute long videos, and you like what you see, cool. And, you know, I still am getting subscribers, so... I, I guess I'm not that boring, you know, so, anyway, this is what, this is my first box, this is my first ever unboxing on camera from my best friend, Matt Slycord, <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, PJ, you got some competition, buddy, and boom goes the dynamite, <laughs> That's awesome, man. I I'm gonna start. I gotta start hanging all these jokers all over the garage out here. My different my, um, things from you guys. Lots of bubble wrap. Uh, oh, and you hit me with peanuts, really? <laughs> peanuts. We got all of peanuts, man. This thing is jam packed. Jam packed. Jam packed. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> URB situation. You got to tell that story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when Matt and I started collecting, well, Matt started, he was collecting before me. Let me rephrase that. When I started collecting, it's about, it was, uh, you know, I started collecting a couple months before the Matchbox um, bat uh, came out. You know, the bigger Batman bat, the little flying vehicle. And, you know, and I still, I was learning. I didn't know a lot. It was, it was you know, back in my rookie days because I used to just grab whatever was cool. And, I, you know, I didn't know about all the different kind of rarities or whatnot. So, anyway, I stashed a couple of those bats, you know, the larger. The, not the, you know, not the 164 scale, but the larger. And uh, I said, man, they're going to be rare. You know, how many you want me to stash for you? Because I, you know, I found five or six at one time. And he's like, none. They're not going to be that big of a deal, dude. So it's a running joke with us that whenever we hoard something and then we find out that it's not a big deal, you know, uh, let's see. We'll start with combis, Matt. <laughs> uh, I hoarded some of those bats and I've hoarded a few other cars. And we were all, both of us were hoarding uh, Waltons for a good bit. We both had four or five of them and have since traded most of them off. Uh the bat, the bat situation has always come up, and we call them URBs, uh, ultra rare bat. Okay, that's what a URB is, and it's a running joke that you know if we start hoarding a car too much of one thing, um, I, you know both of us joke and say it's not going to be another URB situation, is it? You know, ultra rare bat. So that's the running joke. Well, when these were coming out, this Monaco. I pulled the same stun again. I'm like, man, these things are going to be rare, dude. They're going to be hard to find. The scalpers are going to grab all of them. We need to grab all we see. Okay. Well, I ended up with nine 
and Matt ended up with 11. <laughs> so we had, you know, 20 of these jokers between the two of us because I told them to get them for me because I'm like, they're going to be rare. They're going to be rare. Turns out they weren't rare at all. They're just, you know what I mean? And matter of fact, scalpers started leaving them on the pegs. So I ended up with a mountain of them. So that's the story behind the URB situation. And so now I'm taking a million hours to get into your box, Matt. But you wanted me to tell the story. So there it is. The, this is a URB situation. Everybody thought they were going to be rare, hard to find, yada, yada. Now they're everywhere. And, it, you know, people aren't grabbing them that much. And you can find them. So anytime you hoard a car and you think it's going to be a big deal, and it turns out to be not a big deal, that is a URB situation. So... Mind yourself when you're buying 14 or 15 of the same car. If you're not going to customize it, put them back. <laughs> so anyway, back to where I'm the task at hand. Now here, I can run through some of these kind of quick, a little bit quick. Uh, I don't see. Yeah, here's the rest of them. I'll pull them all out because I think they're all here. I'm pretty, pretty sure they're all here. If I know Matt, they're all here. Oh boy, I see some crazy ones in here. Ooh, Lord. Okay, wow, I see another. All right, okay. Let me just stop, let me pause. All right, here's another URB situation. Matt calls me on the phone and says, Hey man, Easter cars are out. I was like, man, I'm never going to see those down here. Friggin' scalpers, man. I, I'll never find Easter cars. This is going to be impossible to find. Will you get me a set? Matt, sure. No problem. I got you. Well, guess what? They did came out, come out down here. And they were pretty easy to find. And I think I bought oh, a total of five sets. Don't know why. I think I did just to trade them to you guys, you know what I mean, or, or get them for the guys overseas. So now I have an exuberant amount of Easter cards. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. Don't really want to chop them up because they're, you know, they're a, they're a Walmart exclusive. So <laughs> Matt sent me the sent me what I asked for because I didn't think I'd find them. So I found them. Sorry, Matt. Sent me this. <laughs> That's cool. I'm, you know. I gotta look and see if I got it. I'm not sure. And then, of course, I'm gonna look to see if it's got the uh, license plate. This one has the license plate. Come on, cooperate with me. That one's got the license plate divot. I'm not sure if this, if my other one doesn't have the divot, that'll get cracked and go into my collection. Thanks, buddy. And now uh, this one here, I wasn't sure I was gonna find any of these. I found three of them. Uh, and I have since sent one to PJ. And this one. This one is the custom Camaro base, Thailand on it. So I think this is a, the base variation from the other ones. So this one won't be getting cracked. Um, what else I got in here? Oh, okay. Sent me a Camaro. I did not have that one for my set, so now I do. That's insane. Love me some Camaro. <laughs> awesome. Uh, here's a Decades car. <clears throat> Sorry, Gogo, you will not be getting this one because I'm a so fine collector. I have about eight or nine of them, different ones. I don't, I, purple, I don't have this one. So that one will be getting uh, cracked and put in with my collection. Awesome, totally awesome. Blue Highway Hauler. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. That'll get cracked and customized. That one might come back your way, Matt. You don't know. I don't know how many of the teal ones I got. I know I got a few of the red because of K-Day, you know, having to buy them all. But I'm trying to go fast, guys, because I know I'm going to run out of time. Ah, right, here's Camaro for the Easter set. Awesome. Purple Passion. Uh, I think I got one. Yeah, I got one of these somewhere, but I think I was waiting to open it for my collection because I was waiting for you to send this one to me, Matt. Look at that thing flames on the roof of that that thing is just insane you know pj you're right these uh you know when i get another display all my cool classics are coming out of the package and going into a display because those things are just too shiny oh what do we got down here oh yeah oh yeah goodies oh plenty nice another easter car there's the last one now i found one of these 
eh, luckily enough. And in case you guys are wondering what the big deal about this carbonator is, take a look at the package and then look at the car. Package, car. Package, car. You see it? Clear wheel. Most of the common is the black. So this is my second. This will not be getting cracked. This will be getting into a protecto. Clear wheel is the hard one to look for, guys. So be on the lookout. I uh, did get one of these. And so this one might get cracked and get a set of real riders on it. Just because that would be awesome. Totally awesome. What are we going on here? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super, super, super. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Now I made one, but it ain't the real one. And so that's awesome. Between uh, PJ and you, Matt, I'm going to be kept in supers for a while because I can't never find them. That is awesome. Totally awesome. Woo. Super awesome. We got down here. Okay, here we go. Sean Holden got himself one of these, and now I got one. Look at that. Pow. Country roads. Country roads. You know I love me some cop car. Look at that. That is the Royal Monaco. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm trying to go fast here, but it's not working. I'm going to have to make this in a two-parter match. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Snoopy's in the house. Can never have enough Snoopies, man. TV cars. That's one thing that, that Matt and I are hoarding. And I believe is not going to be a URB situation. So for all you out there that find TV cars, i.e. Uh, Scoobies and Snoopies and Herbies and Kit and A-Team and all those. Those jokers, I do believe, are going to be worth something down the line. Even, even in the modern ones. So... Y'all keep grabbing your movie cars. Homers, oh yeah, you better keep grabbing those because uh, them jokers are going to be a big deal. What do we got down here? Man, what? Come on, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Holy peanuts, Batman. Check this out. Man, you know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at this. I'm going to keep this one a little bit short because there's, uh, there's still some goodies in here. What? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one short because I'm going to come back at you because uh, I'm going to do a couple of crackings for you, man. For all you guys. So we're going to come back and do some crackings. And, uh, and then I'm going to finish this up. Because uh, there's some stuff in here that you know, I got to show. So give me a minute. Be right back.